Marys. We don't gotta do Marys. We don't have to do Marys. Oh my god. Listeners. We are on a lawn. <sighs> on a lawn. I don't know what street this is. Uh, We're in Rochester, <laughs> New York. We have drinks. It's nighttime. We don't live here. There's fireflies. We have bug spray. We have so much bug spray. Some of it's in Katie's I wine. have the cough to, <laughs> to prove it. <laughs> There's an air conditioner behind us. Yeah. We're hoping that some cars drive by. This is some real shit. We're out in the wild. If somebody walks by, I'm calling it right now. We're going to be like, excuse me, sir. Come up here. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen the movie? Impromptu <laughs> interview. So our apologies now, or um, you're welcome. Sisters, sisters who seen it. We are the sisters, sisters who seen it. Sisters, shooby doo be doo what? Sisters, shooby doo be doo what? Sisters, 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 sisters. Sisters who seen it. Hello. Hello there. Welcome back, listeners. This is an adventure podcast. <laughs> For real. As you, li- <laughs> as you listened earlier, we are outside. <laughs> This is where I wish, not all the time, but in this moment, we were a video podcast because I oh feel like God, we, we look would look so like stupid. A, a terribly picked Zoom background. And we're like, no, no, mm. this is really where we are. We are <laughs> not a joke. We are at our sister, Mary. Shout out, Mary. We love you. Um, and our mom is visiting, which honestly, we've been thinking about bringing her out oh to talk about I the movie. Know. She didn't understand it. She watched it with us and then throughout the movie told us that she didn't get it. She and then when I mean, we brought it up, she then- didn't remember watching the movie. <laughs> it was one day ago. <laughs> but Kate, who are we? Oh, listeners, let me introduce ourselves because we are not uh, residents of Rochester, New York. <clears throat> <laughs> But we are the sisters who seen it. The podcast where two sisters who are not movie critics look back on some of our favorites throughout the years through a psychological, ethical, and familial lens. I'm Katie. I'm Bridget. And 60B. You got to go to 60B. Don't forget <laughs> 60B. I'll tell you again. What's the movie? <laughs> the movie is the 2005 Paramount Pictures. Hmm. Ooh. Elizabeth Town. <sighs> oh. Yo, what it was, was a that? time. It was supposed to be the crowd going wild. <laughs> oh, oh. It's not us huffing Jesus bug Christ. spray. It outside. might be me doing that. This was a time in those early 2000s when not a care in the world. Um, everybody was oblivious to the hard things in life. It was rom coms. It was dramas. Oh, yeah. There were just endless, endless, endless. Orlando Bloom mm. comes to the movie screen. Killing Kirsten, it in the 2000s. Kirsten Dunst yeah. shows up. We got Susan Sarandon. <gasps> okay. Alec Baldwin. We got Alec Baldwin. Paula D. Paula fucking D. I screamed. And we have Jessica Biel. <laughs> Are oh you God, just... kidding me? And probably other. Oh, and um, um, oh, we got to look at the actor's name. Mark Brandanaquitz. That's right. From Parks and Rec. From Parks and Rec. <laughs> he plays a weird character. He's a funky character. Okay, but who's doing the synopsis? Okay, I'll do the synopsis. Oh, boy. It's, I'm going to do it as if I'm our mother, which is. Oh, are you just going to say I don't remember? I don't, I don't remember I don't get it. it. Yeah. Wow. No, quick one. Here's the thing. So because we're outside in the wilderness fighting our life with mosquitoes, <laughs> I don't have my pewter oh, to yeah. cast and my notes and no fucking winging it. Okay. And <laughs> so I'm going to go. We're roughing it. I'm not going to mention the lawn. character names. I'm just going to make it up. Okay? Well, I got my notes so I can help out. Okay. A okay. So Orlando Bloom is the main character and his name is. Oh, wait. Hold on. Is can it I, Drew? Can I help out? Yeah, it's okay. true. It's true. It's true. And. The whole uh, backstory for him is that he essentially works at like a Nike like company. And he is a shoe designer that came up with this billion dollar shoe design where you go back and forth between old, uh, you know, history where they're selling the shoe and they're like, oh my God, you've changed the face of the company. And then you go to present day where basically something happens with the shoe. We don't know what, yeah. but we know it's bad. Oh, we- like how, like. I don't know, but basically right. you see a giant truck of like recalls. And so oh something God. happened and essentially he lost the company a billion dollars. 
And so he, in this very dark, dark way, wants yeah. to complete suicide. Uh. And he, you see him leave his company. Jessica Beale pops in because she is like the current girlfriend who basically dumps him when she finds she out. She never the like scandal. says she's I dumping know. him, and I Let's hated talk about it. That. And then, you know, he is just kind of heading home. He throws all his shit on a lawn. And he's like, that's it. I'm giving up. And then he gets a call. And this was the time, people, when there were fucking ringtones. And there's this song. And it's like, I can't feel the gray skies blue. I. And he picks up. And boy, boy, is this guy not having a good day. Because he finds out his dad died. Oh, my God. His dad has history. He's in Oregon. Um, this is also why I think they're, like, trying to be Nike. He has history with family in Kentucky. And so his dad was visiting one of his family members in Kentucky, died there. And so his mom and sister were like, Drew, please go to Kentucky. We, we got to figure out what to do with the body. Yeah. Like, we don't want to go. We don't want to go. We're picking you. Okay. Bye, bitch. This is so fucking weird. <laughs> because basically, so the mom is Susan Sarandon. Thank Are God you she was me? there. Uh, what a Where babe. have you been, bitch? Oh, my God. And by the way, when she came on screen, mom was like, doesn't she look fabulous? I was like, this was 20, 20 years, years ago. ago. Jesus this was pre Susan Sarandon's ping pong club Jesus. that we went to she in Chicago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> they send him, and and the backstory there is they all hate Susan Sarandon because you know when she married him, she moved to Oregon and she took him away from Kentucky, so they hate her. She's like, they hate me. You go get him. And then the whole movie is about his like trek to Kentucky, meeting all these family members he hasn't met, and then he meets on the airplane. It was a flight attendant, Kirsten Dunst. Ah, uh. Kirsten Dunst kind of is picking up what's going down that he's like a sad boy yeah um, oh he's such a know, sad boy um, i think about the like what did you call him 500 days of summer summer the pixie oh, she's manic a pixie manic girl pixie dream girl she did have those vibes but but that's like what he he was like the boy version of that and oh. so she was trying to like you know pep him up with positivity and mm. support and whatever so Okay. So she is trying to help him and, um, you know, stays in touch. And the only reason that they stay in touch is she helps with directions because she's from Kentucky. Yada, yada. The rest of the movie is all about the ridiculousness of planning the memorial, the family. Kirsten Dunks gets involved. It's a Southern family. It's a su- Paula <laughs> Dean. <laughs> is, the Paula. butter is flowing. Paula Dean. Don't get it twisted. Paula Dean, who <laughs> is a racist and <laughs> at that time no one knew i guess well um, did we so she or sat by the yeah did we question My, come on and in the end <laughs> as casey says um orlando bloom and kirsten dunn end with the weirdest fucking stalkery road trip and then they kiss and i guess that's how the 2000s ended i feel like you have to also make note of because you literally said this quote where you're like i feel like i'm watching three different movies yes because the movie there's a lot of points where like well it's all over and then it's like (laughs) actually we're gonna keep going you're like oh jesus christ and that happens a lot very lord of the rings ending if you will there was so many endings yeah um yeah so that's it if you haven't left by now we're gonna get into it what do you think (laughs) well i have some notes so we we can go through some of our notes but um okay we we also have to mention this was written and directed by cameron crow who was inspired by his own father's death. Oh, that's so dark. Uh, where he, his father had family in Kentucky, and he went and visited, and this inspired, like, the plot to this movie. I think he was like, there's a little child who's driving a car illegally, <laughs> and there's no parenting, <laughs> and I had to buy a VHS tape to get him under control, and now I have a plot for a movie. Oh I'm God. worried about it. We'll talk more about there's that. so um, many stupid fucking plot points. Yeah, this movie, uh, the drinking game for this movie would be like drink anytime something fucking random happens because <laughs> you'll be like woo but so he wrote it this is not based on any material which i thought was interesting because when the movie st- i'd never seen this movie before i know by the I way mean, but you liked it <laughs> no I, I did like it 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 um i don't know it hit me and it was interesting watching it two days in a row <laughs> sorry <laughs> yo so when i came to visit i was like hey let's just record when we're together how fun is that and she's like totes and then i was like jk i forgot to watch the movie she's like you motherfucker let's I was like, watch it's it again. fine because i paid for the amazon prime rental and now we'll just get to keep going that was so efficient of us we uh, always pay separate it was good yeah we did save three dollars um hold, thank you jeff bezos hold on real quick oh, i need a bug spray uh jesus break. christ Where's i think i did spray? get bit between my pinky Where, finger oh my god spray? here it is okay wow give, this reminds me of the kentucky give a spritz i'm gonna okay. cover my wine 
then there's the bug yes, spray. You got, you got that? Now it's ASMR <laughs> bug spray. Can you spray my hand? It's just oh, okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Anyways, back to uh, the plot. Okay, but it's important to bring up Cameron Crowe and that he's the writer because we did have him in our very first episode <gasps> ever, which was Almost Famous. Which there were some Almost Famous vibes. Did you get that? There a little was bit? definitely an Almost Famous vibe, and also that yeah. episode really rough. That first well, plot. we talked on the phone. That's how we recorded. Yeah, it was. was hard. A weird and episode. then actually our sister mary's like why don't you guys look at each other we were like oh that's when we started doing mary's oh, mary. episode two Love but cameron crowe's okay. definitely got a style he's all about the music so th- i went i'm oh gonna my be God. honest the soundtrack epic, is epic, bomb epic soundtrack really good soundtrack Go on spotify type in elizabeth town movie to the point where i feel like every other scene is literally a song and yeah. i'm like that's fucking fun i'm having a good time and i mean like part of the plot is like he goes on a road trip and he's listening to music so i was like okay you shoehorn that in but fine but in the beginning of the movie there is some narration which normally if it's like material based on a book you would get that and this was not so that was interesting but our narrator is the orlando bloom character who is drew um i didn't hate orlando bloom in this i thought he did a good job he, he did a good job he had to hide his accent he had to hide, you his, know. He had to hide his accent and yeah. i would say that he was like 80 percent of the movie he's emotionless because mm-hmm. he's kind of like god damn it i want that's to like just... the plot point yeah too. he's like, he's I, like kinda... I don't cry well, lol yeah and he's like i kind of just wanted to like complete suicide yeah. because there's a timeline on when the company is like, so you're going to be the fall guy for this like shoe fiasco. And the reporter's like, uh, this article will come out in one week. So you have one week one before week. the whole universe wow. knows. So he's just kind of like a robot. And then everyone else around him is like very emotional. And then every now and then he get cookie bananas. And that was the fun part when he got cookie bananas. It was fun. And when we do see him, it is basically the uh, reveal that his shoe, which was called like spasmodium. <laughs> it sounds like Nickelodeon <laughs> slime sounds, time. It sounds like an IBS like, <laughs> it's just, like, first of all, the name should have been the clue. It's not going to work, you guys. Well, and it was based on a stingray, and you just see him, like, petting a stingray back when he was designing it. I want to look up. Did, when did Steve Irwin, bless your heart, rest in peace, oh. if he fucking passed before this movie, I swear to fucking God, camera chrome will hunt you down and fucking get you because that's rude. Um, yeah, it was weird. And the whole beginning is him just going to the job, and everyone's like, uh uh, like shaking Last their head. Looks. Last it's, looks. He, he, I collect a, last looks. Which I honestly was like, that is my dream to walk into a company. I want to quit and I get last looks. I'm like, Fuck like yeah. thank God I got a last look from that I'm bitch. Like, Bye, bitch. That Bye, is bitch. pretty awesome. See you, HR lady. There's a lot of funny parts in this, I gotta say, but um, we basically come to find that yes, he had a shoe. He lost the company a billion dollars. Now they he's don't a, go into details though, which I'm like, fine. That's what why who cares? I'm like, what? What? Happened? Oh, I don't know. So, yeah, and his boss, or the head of the CEO of the company, I guess, is Alec Baldwin! Oh my god, he is so Whoa. good. Which, by the way, Alec Baldwin got off I know. for the shooting thing. That's crazy. Um, it's very on, topical. Uh, which I was like, yeah. And yeah. I will say, you know how I am with outfits, Keith. I don't think he was wearing a CEO outfit. <laughs> oh, I, tell me more about that. I just think he had a weird... <laughs> suede jacket that didn't fit him well and I didn't believe it. Well, I also felt he was running a Ponzi scheme because he's like, let me tour you around my building, which by the way, we drive golf carts around in the inside of the building and I did text Bridget and say, does your company have golf carts in your building because I'm sweating? But then he was like, well, because you lost us all that money, I'm going to have to cut the environmental watchdog (laughs) sector. And he's like, what? And he's like, that's right. We have this. It's always been in this building where it's just billions of cameras watching animals and I don't know what to he say kept about saying, it. I want you to truly understand <laughs> how much a billion dollars is. I mean, I don't so understand. Is, he's like, this is a whole team we'll get rid of. This is a whole team we'll he's get like, rid of. He's like, I got a basketball team. I was like, why is a basketball <laughs> team has, in this has, building? He has a what? basketball team. He's like, what? they don't know yet. You know what, though? Alec Baldwin's so good at that role. 30 Rock. I was going to say, he's Jack just kind of playing the same I character, his character as that. Yeah. But then um, we kind of have this weird, like, Jessica Biel subplot okay. where she, Not a fan. when you go back in time and he, like, gets the first design of the shoe and everyone's like, we're going to be billionaires. Oh, God. She kisses him at, like, an employee party and it shows him, like, missing family Christmases. You see, it's they eight years of his life. They put a framed photo of him at the dinner table. If mom 
<laughs> I did get a little nervous watching this with mom because I was like, what if she like does that? <laughs> like, what if she's like, here's, you know, so and so at the table now oh. to guilt trip and I'm going to take a family photo oh, and send it. Oh my God. But <sighs> hopefully not. Um, wow. Yeah, but the whole point was like, oh, he focused so much on his job. He missed out on his family. AKA he missed out on his dad. And then literally two scenes later, dad dies. But yeah. he does have to own up. He like talks to a reporter about something, something. Wait, let me quickly go back to Jessica Biel. Oh, okay, Jessica Biel. Because yep. the re- she sends him to the reporter, but she's driving right. him to Alec Baldwin. And she's like... In the golf so, cart indoors. It, it, yeah. And the, yeah, okay. If Katie didn't mention it, there was a golf There's cart. There's a golf cart. Um, <laughs> And she drives in and she's like, well, Drew, um, I'll see you around. And he's like, can I call you later? And she's like, bye. Now, this woman is like his computer background screen uh, in they, his apartment. I mean, they were pretty serious. I think, I think they were pretty serious. And she was just like, you were they the married? And she's bye. like, now it's an old, you know, I, like ouch. no one knows. Ouch. But. Okay, so she's out of the picture, but I do yeah. think it's funny because with all the Justin Timberlake drama, <gasps> I was like, Jessica Biel. Damn, she Biel. don't know how to pick on. That's what I'm saying. She's got bad, like, TV character energy. Oh, she's got to work on that. She needs to talk to a therapist since being on Seventh Heaven. All right, I'm not going to get into that, but I have a lot of opinions. Oh, my God, my wine fell. Yuck. Fuck, it's a metaphor. <gasps> it's empty. <laughs> Everything's wrong. Can you throw it over there so the flies are over there? <laughs> We'll have a prop. Okay. Sip the lesson. Okay. okay. So he goes home and he's like, I guess he's fired. I don't know. And then he's oh, like. Oh, he's definitely fired. Okay. And then. But doesn't he get like severance? What's business? So. What, how do I. How do we. What happened? So. so um, Am I sad or happy? When you lose a company a billion dollars, mm. they're not going to give you an extra six months. Oh. I think they're like, we're firing you for cause, which Damn. is um, you lost a billion dollars to the company. Okay. You're lucky you're not in jail. Right. Um, well, I kind of hate that. So, but then Orlando Bloom is quite dramatic. Mm. He goes to his apartment, takes everything he has, and throws it on the front lawn. I, I mean, I was that, like, "Sir, take a minute. Take that a would, beat." It would have taken like four hours well, of his life that he wants to not be living. Well, so that's what I was saying. What? And then very bizarre, and he takes like a workout machine. And he gets a big kitchen knife and he tapes it to the workout machine. Rube Goldberg yeah. exercise murder machine. Yeah, and then he, he looks at it and he put, presses his button and then basically the knife is going to like go into his chest. I'm scared. And I don't want to see that in QVC. I don't want to see that either. And then he gets on the bike and you're like, okay, this is a dark movie, 20 or 2005. Yeah. And then the call comes. Thank God. Um, and it's... Uh-huh. If you can turn the screen scale. Oh! We have a Luna. Special guest. Pause for Luna. So, okay, um, so death, and he doesn't die. He doesn't die, and he gets a call. And His it's... sister is Judy Greer. She is so good. Okay, but I hate the way her character's written. Her character it, sucks. I feel like she's written like a ding dong. And well, I was like, okay. And she, she's like, true, mom is doing all these hobbies, and true, you're the oldest, you have to come help. I'm like, she is not some weak, wimpy that's, bimbo. That's what made me mad. And then she's like, you know I can't come because I have a baby. Which is real, listeners. However, then the rest of her was like dumb, and we never see her husband man even though he is in one scene but then he's like literally not at the memorial later and it's fucking weird so anyway well, she I don't know. okay here's the thing if yeah. our brother he sat in the family for eight years and then our parent dies he's not the first person I, I'm, not, I'm not giving him the responsibility absolutely not no. he passed out for eight years what do you think yeah. we're gonna trust him that because at this point they all don't know that the shoe is a giant flop no, so they look yes. at him as like the hero right, right, and they're right. like oh this is like you know you've been working for eight years and you're the hero go down to Kentucky and show our family name how great we are and he's like oh my god yeah shame. well and it's okay so I did watch this movie twice <laughs> two, two nights in a row and the first time i watched this because very quickly after you get the phone call dad's dead you have to do shit then you quickly see oh my god now we're, we're in an airport and it's uh orlando bloom susan sarandon and judy greer and they're all walking and they're like oh god you gotta go to kentucky you, like we know he's going to kentucky he bought a plane ticket and it got the blue seat yeah, he's got the blue seat he's been holding it and somebody drove him there Anyway, and we're all there, and it's like, okay, crazy. Well, the blue suit's for his dad to be buried in, but then they want him cremated, so that's the thing we got to talk about. But my biggest question (laughs) was, did dad and mom, the first time I watched it, I had serious questions. I don't know why, because I was very attentive, I thought, that I didn't realize the parents were still married. I thought they were, like, divorced. 
because they're oh, separated. Awfully. And I was like, oh, is that why Susan Sarandon's not going? But she's still taking responsibility because she was like the mother of the children, question mark. But then the second time watch, I realized, no, he was just visiting family in Kentucky. And then he fucking died. What? And it, wow. I'm sorry, but if your spouse dies, you go. You don't send your kid. Uh, yeah. It's fucking weird. Well, and then he gets on the plane, and this did give me vibes of when I rode a plane literally the day before the world shut down for COVID, and there was, like, no people on it, and he's the only person okay, I thought, on the plane. I thought about this. I was like, this doesn't exist anymore. Ever. Every Every plane. They would no have matter, canceled the plane. They would have canceled it. Every yeah. plane, no matter where it's going, in 2024 is fucking packed like sardines. It's insane. And this little ding-dong is sitting in the back of the flight holding his blue suit, basically uh, about to cry. And who do we see? Peppy Kirsten Dunst, as if she was just out of... I'm Peppy! Uh, I'm fine! Oh. I'm happy alert to boo! I'm a flight attendant! <laughs> Um, she is pretty fucking fun in this movie. I love her. She's a, Claire is her character. Claire, name. her name is Claire. She comes back and she's like, uh, I feel bad vibes from this guy, so I'm gonna try to make him feel better. And she's very chatty. And she's then- like, you won something, something first class. And he's like, no thanks. And she goes, bitch, I don't want to walk. <laughs> and he's like, oh. And I was like, that's right. That's how you write women characters. I <laughs> Thank love you. I agree. I agree. Yes. And then he goes to first class and when he gives the suit, there must be something written on the suit because you could tell that she knows yeah that his dad died she figures it out and she figures it out and she could tell something's off with and him and she had asked him she's like how's your dad she goes to this whole thing of like i know people based on their names blah blah and the dad's name was mitch, mitch and she's like never met a mitch i didn't like <laughs> and then she's like how's mitch and he's like uh he's great she's like give him a big hug for me and he's like cool and then that's when she's like oh never mind he's dead <laughs> Honestly, Damn. I was thinking about that. That's a great pickup line. To be like, I can read names. Yeah, and if so, and if you're like, tell me your name, and then they're like, Dave, you're like, I've never met a Dave. Oh, see, I, I would be met. like, I've dated a lot of Daves, and I hate all of them, so you gotta go. Bye. You're like, we're gonna call you Mitch from now And your, your name right? is Mitch from Have you seen Elizabeth's Elizabeth show. <laughs> <laughs> but she's really chatty to the point that Orlando, Orlando Bloom's a little annoyed with her. Yes. Um, but this is where the 60B thing comes in. Because oh, she's like, wait. 60 B. She goes, you're going to this middle of nowhere town in Kentucky. The roads get crazy. Let me draw you a map. When I'll put my phone number if you get lost, blah, blah, blah. And this is like how they stay connected. Because it's very bizarre to like stay connected to a flight attendant. Right. Um, and of course, he misses the exit, which he doesn't call her then. No. He calls her like later. Yes. Because he's like basically having a, a freaking crisis where he's yes. just trying to talk to anybody. Right. And he has her phone number and that's how they get connected. But boy oh boy when he gets to this town does everyone in the fucking universe know Mitch? Uh yeah. It the, was. The whole town was like so Mitch funny. how we gonna go on? And I was like was Mitch the mayor? Because I thought he lived in another state. Little, little kids were like literally uh, it was like a parade of Everyone it was like they were all like pointing like that way Orlando Bloom and I was like how do you know Orlando Bloom? He's I, never been here. I what do you mean? I understand small towns are small. <laughs> I don't think they're this fucking small. Definitely not. Okay, this is before cell phones. Oh, well, there was cell phones, but it was flip phones. They were flip phones. Okay, we're not, like, recording on Google Maps when he's yeah, off from no. the... Yeah, no. If he had Google Maps, he would have never gotten with Claire, by the way. Oh, so no. That's what? An interesting oh, oh, yeah. Point. That's true. Technology would have ruined the plot point. That's true. Yeah. So, um, well, he meets... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The <laughs> bug spray. So I'm so bad. I some more bug spray. I'm so sorry. Um, so he meets all of Mitch... These are Mitch's, like, family and, like, oh, friends. Yeah. Something, something. Paula Dean is one of them, Paula among Dean. other people. Paula Dean just sits in the, or stands in the kitchen. All she does, is cook. she just stirs with the spoon. Oh, your fucking bug on your forehead. Oh, God, get oh out of my Jesus forehead. Christ! Get out of Spray my the head. Okay. Get out of my forehead. Oh my God, get this box. is rough. We're right. literally in the trenches, guys. Um, <laughs> Um, and then Paula Dean heard that and she was like, Hex. She's like, I'm a Sam Butter Hex well, on and you. And there's every type of stereotypical Southern guy. Oh, there's like, like Lord. Ha, I'm the I'm guy. I'm very Christian. Come to the church. Yeah. And he's like, I've never been to church. And what? there's a lot of like hints to really fucking old family members that just have weird faces. Yeah, that one guy. And then we have um, Mark <laughs> Brandana quits <laughs> from Parks and Rec seasons one through two. He's like a cousin. Oh, and he's like, Hey, he's Drew, weird. I'm your cousin and he his whole plot is he has this little <laughs> samson kid which which is he divorced like we don't know where the wife is nobody talks about the wife okay. or mom okay. and it's has, all his fault he has a kid oh. who like he try to treats like a buddy and 
his dad is mad at him because basically the kid has horrible behavior. And the whole plot is just that this kid creates chaos. And then one day, Kirsten Dunst helps Orlando Bloom by giving a fucking VHS tape. Rusty. Of Rusty the construction worker. Rusty man, Rusty. Who made this video? <laughs> I want, like, is this like a ring video where, like, Rusty's going to come <laughs> out my TV and, like, explode my house? I because I'm so scared. For those who have seen the movie, he plays the video. He goes, kids, watch. And Rusty, this massive muscular guy, goes, kids, are you listening? We're going to blow up a house but only if you listen to your parents. And they're like, well, listen. And then oh it's just God. a video of him blowing up a house. up a house. And it just repeats over and, and over. And then the kid is healed. And he's a nice kid after that. That's all you need is <laughs> one video what? of Rusty. Okay, Cameron Carl must have been out on vacation, whoever thought of this. And he was like, just keep it. I just... Just keep it in post-editing. I don't know what to do with that's it. That's the drinking game section where you waterfall during the whole Rusty video <laughs> because it's fucking wild. And the movie would have been shorter without it i'm just saying honestly um, i was thinking about that for husbands you know you just like put him in there and you're like will you ah, listen to your wife will you listen are you sure okay i love you i love you, the house oh listen. my fucking god oh my god i did wonder if that character of mark brandan quits which that's not his name in the movie i didn't write his name down but um he like definitely looks like he's straight out of the 70s oh, which yeah. again gave me almost famous vibes and i was like is this like camera crow is this you like are you this character because then there's also a backstory where he's like i had a band and we were awesome we opened for leonard skinner just kidding we never played but we're on a poster oh and then God. they play in their band at the memorial that nobody asks for and it, again the movie could have been shorter but it was so fucking funny Cameron Crow, it was pretty funny i gotta so, say so as we're meeting all the family members as the audience you're wildly overwhelmed by yes. all these like family member and you're orlando bloom orlando bloom is just like fucking hanging on by a thread as people throw him here throw him there they're asking Asking if his dad could be buried and his mom wants him cremated and oh, he's running yeah, around town and he's trying the to like, manage all these fucking crazy people and then he goes back to his hotel room and we go back to Kirsten Dunst because he's kind of having this like crisis moment where he calls his mom, he calls his sister, he calls Jessica Biel nobody's picking up but you know who he calls? Kirsten Dunst. Claire picks she up. She picks up. And she's like, ha, I'm Claire. And then he puts her on hold for a long time but she fucking sticks around because I guess she doesn't have anything better to do. Well, and I was wondering if she felt like, oh, this guy was having a really bad day oh like I'll, maybe like, worried about him I'll, I'll listen you know yeah. if you meet a stranger whose parent just passed by the way there is something really cool about meeting an airplane i will say like in my young 20s single era when i was like flying a lot for work yeah. i thought like it'd be fucking cool to meet like a hottie it's at an a airplane. fun meet cute it is a fun meet yeah. cute but then they talk all i kind of love night. that i do kind of love that to the point where it's literally she's like i gotta wake up in two hours i'm going to hawaii and he's like oh for like your work because you're a flight attendant and she's like no just because and then she's like you know what i'll just stay awake let's meet somewhere because she lives in Kentucky? Well, and that's how she knew how to give him directions for the oh, roads. Okay, 60 B. Uh, uh, which made sense because the plane came into Kentucky. So you're like, I'm it driving, did. I'm driving okay. with this plot. That makes sense. And then they meet up, and the funniest fucking scene is when they're sitting watching the sunset and they go, you know what? We peeked on the she phone. She peeked on the phone. And they don't talk to each other. They leave. Uh, 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 and how do they get back well, connected? What happens there? Because she, this is this is where Claire starts to shift from "you call me" to "I will appear." Oh, and then she, she gets just, stocky. She just kind of appears. She's like a little where, stocky. She appears in his hotel room. There's a whole subplot, and oh. the hotel that he's staying in is like a couple getting married. Oh Chuck, my god, Chuck, Chuck and, and Cindy. Chuck and Cindy, and then oh he like bonds with Chuck, and Chuck cries. <laughs> That's a drinking moment, guys. Make sure you take a sip because Chuck's crying. And it's a fucking wild child. Um, I don't even know, but she just keeps appearing at the hotel and she's like, Well, and then the wedding we're hanging party, out. And the wedding party's like, We love Claire. Yeah, they're like, Claire. And, and then, um, you know, everyone's like, Oh, we love Drew. And, you know, they find out that his dad died. And then they're like, Whatever you need, man, we'll help you. And it's, I think it's supposed to, I read this too, that's supposed to be a little bit of a love letter to like Southern culture. Um, you know, like where everyone's just like big and welcoming. Big and welcoming. Yeah. And fuck you. 
and, with, and and he also like Orlando Bloom is calling his mom and sister. And he's like, yo, they like love dad. Yeah. yeah, like we never fucking came right. and hung out with him, but like they freaking love him. Right. And I guess we should be nice to them. Like you know, mom, you always said they were so mean to you, but like shoot. Um. And then the the subplot is like they all hate Susan Sarandon because she says she away. went to California and she goes, we literally live in Oregon. <laughs> And they're like, oh, California's crazy. <laughs> and the whole, like, oh, shit, he wants to be buried. Everyone in Kentucky wants him to be buried. And Susan Saran's, like, cremate him. And then they're like, do you think there's a lot of cremations in California? And she's <laughs> like, we're literally from Oregon. What? Well, and then Paula Dean at one scene. Oh, God. Has, has maybe 50 photo albums of all family members. <laughs> and she goes, you know, I really should have a picture of your mother. I'm so sorry. I don't. She um, don't. And, I was and she's like, not sorry, I don't think. They all hate Susan Sarandon. She's like, bless your heart, Susan Sarandon. But we're Damn. leading up to this big memorial that the whole town is planning. Oh, and, of course, Josh and Cindy are getting married. Oh, my God. We're trying to help Samson be a better kid with Rusty's Samson and video. Rusty. Kirsten Dunst is popping up more. She shows she... up to the hotel. She cancels her whole Hawaii trip? I'm sorry. Okay. Are you fucking canceling your Hawaii trip? Okay, but the second watch around bridge, I did have this like wonder where I was like, is she just like a serial liar? Because there is a part two where she kind of brings up like, I have a boyfriend named Ben, but like, we don't know if Ben is real. And then also there's a part where Orlando Bloom is literally like, is Ben real? Yeah. And she's like, uh, you're crazy. And we never get an answer, which makes me think. I don't know. So I wonder if she was just saying stuff to say stuff. And then she kind of was like, JK, now I'm going to do this. And well, it's whimsical. And, she, and, and there's great fucking lines in this movie. Yeah. You Google, like, oh, I wrote the quotes down. and lines. But one of the things that she says, she goes, you know what, Drew? We're substitute people. Substitute We're people. not the first pick. We're sub- and I was like, you need a better self-esteem here. But see, that does. felt like Manic Pixie Dream Girl. Because, like, you know, she knew that she had just met this guy. So she wasn't trying to be, like, over the top. But at the same time, she was trying to be welcoming and kind. And she eventually says to him, like, oh, I knew your dad died. I know yeah. what had happened, whatever. Um, then she kind of, like, begins, like you said, she shows up to the hotel. There's no Hawaii trip. No. They start to hang out. Yeah. He's digging it because he's like, I'm in crazy town and I'm prepared to. He is not giving up on completing suicide. He's like, oh, I'll just stall it until all this is done out that. of respect for my family. I hate that, too. That's weird. And then, you know, and she's giving these quotes and she's kind of whimsical. And the thing that's so interesting is she is like an actually dynamic character. Yeah. It's not a typical dumb blonde bimbo. She has substance to her. Well, and at one point she, like, they sneak into Chuck and Cindy's, uh, I guess, like, wedding area? I don't know. And she's like, gets in the microphone show and she, go, she goes, I like you. Oh, my God. And she's like, and I know that's a gamble, but I'm saying it. And I was like, where is Ben? That's another reason why I was like, I don't think Ben's a real person. I don't know if Ben's a real person. Ben's either. made up. But then they kind of like, they almost kiss, but then they don't, and then they sleep. Together? They go upstairs and have the sexy time. They have sexy time. Because, right. by the way, the reason that they ran into the wedding is Drew decided to stay at a hotel. Right. And this hotel had the wedding, and so they yes. stayed over. And then, like, such weird shit happened. Like, in the morning, Orlando Bloom is out, like, sleeping as if he hasn't slept in 18 <laughs> she, years. She keeps trying and to she wake him up. She keeps trying to, like, cutesy wake That's him up. Amazing. And he's not waking oh up. And then God. eventually, she just is like, oh, he's, like, ignoring me. I'll just, he's pretending to sleep. I'll just leave. Like, bye. And he, he finally runs out and he stops her. And this is where he admits. He goes, listen, I'm. It's like, I'm going to die. Loser. Well, well, no. First oh, he tells her I about mean, the shoe. I'm a loser first. Then. Well, he doesn't even tell her about the dying I thing. thought he did. No. I thought he was like, no. I'm going to die soon. And she was like, uh. And that's why she says the line, fail big and stick around. No, it's the um, it's the shoe thing. No, I don't I think know, he but admitted I thought, the suicide I thing. I thought he did because I thought oh, that's why he was like, that's why I don't want to get in a relationship because I'm actually going to be a dead person soon. And then that's when she was like, you should fail big and stick around. AKA stick around, like, don't be a dead person. Yeah. Like, keep being a live person. That's a great quote. Yeah. She's like, you failed, 
You failed. You failed. 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 failed you big failed. And stick you failed. Yeah. Oh God, I love the and make them quotes. wonder why you keep smiling. Yeah, I love that. That's a great line. Yeah. So she kind of feels sad about it because she's like, man, I thought you were like running here to tell me you missed me, but instead you're running here to like talk about whatever your fucking shoe company dumb shit I don't care about. <laughs> and he's like, Asmodia. he's like, Claire, it's a billion dollars. She's like, I literally don't care. She's like, Have I you don't seen my paycheck. Care. Okay. Um, it's not <laughs> it's, up to par. Ben's not real. Um, money is no object. Yeah. It does. Yeah, it does. I live in my head. <laughs> I'm actually AI. So Wait, he, right from there is then the memorial. Yeah. And this memorial. Okay. So they, they must have paid Susan Sarandon the buckets of money and they were like, God damn it. We got to let this lady act. She needs. She has an act. She needs the whole a monologue. Movie. She, she needs, needs a monologue. an epic monologue. This was great. <sighs> she does a great monologue. And by the way, the whole subplot of is he going to get buried? Is he going to get cremated? He gets cremated. And Orlando Bloom is like, I'm going to have him cremated. And then he kind of is like, oh, no, I changed your mind. And then the guy's like, he's already ashes. And then Orlando Bloom's like, damn. And then we all just like giggle. And it's weird. And, and then he's and like, it, anyway, memorial. And he carries around the urn everywhere. And he like forgets it in places. And he you're does. Like, what? And Kirst- Kirsten Dunst is like, ha, Mitch. Hey, Mitch. Nice to meet you, Mitch. Wow. Like, okay. So this memorial <laughs> is in like a giant <laughs> Bank- catering. Hall? Catering hall, banquet hall. It's a lot. There's billions of people. Susan Sarandon is there. She is wearing a power pantsuit, which I was like, <laughs> love it. We love to see it. Go, girl. And before all this, the only stuff we get about Susan Sarandon is from Judy Greer when she's like, Mom's gone crazy. She's trying to cook. She's taking all these classes. She's crazy. And you're kind of like, that's so silly and doesn't have anything to do with the plot. But then it kind of does, does have something to do with the plot because she goes up and she starts doing, like, you know, a monologue about about like oh you know i love my husband and like but she says something i don't know if i wrote it down but it was a nice line where it was essentially like we all lo- we all loved him and she was basically saying like now i am accepting all like of i'm you bringing guys. you all in right yeah. like i'm not like separate from you I'm, I'm acknowledging you guys loved him too and then she fucking picks up the microphone and i literally wrote my notes and i was like is she gonna do stand-up comedy and she fucking does she does and then she goes i did a stand-up comedy class and i was like damn i um, she did you're a queen a tap dance routine <laughs> she did comedy she didn't sing but i felt like she might have i thought she I blacked was, out. I thought it was gonna be celine dion I, close. and and it all circles around to her weird neighbor that had a boner because boner he felt ben. bad he, boner, boner ben because boner he, bob boner, boner bob. bob because oh, he felt bad it. about her husband dying and yeah. The amount of women who probably have stories like that, I tell you. I don't like it. I hate yeah. those stories. But you know what? Here's what was weird about the film is like, they didn't cry enough that their dad died. Yeah. I felt like that was kind of weird. Or they just didn't show it. It was kind of like, anyway. And we don't actually people. know a lot about the dad. No. We just know that everyone loved him. We, we know, know nothing like about him. A military guy, because there was a lot of West Point, something, something. Well, Kentucky, and Orlando Bloom was kind of sad because of those eight years trying to make this shoe that you know was a total disaster. Yeah, he pretends to know his dad because everybody loves his dad, and so he feels awkward that he didn't have a relationship. Yeah, but like he didn't. So it's just I'm like, all right, I guess we like know nothing about this dude. Even Susan Sarandon gets up there and just talked about her whole fucking self. Yeah, she's like, we met in L we were both engaged and then we were like fuck it and then we got married and i was like uh <laughs> uh awkward okay weird da, 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 da. here's Woo. my tap dance routine well she tap dances oh and God. then fucking mark brandanaquitz takes out his crappy oh band God. that nobody asked for they play free bird you fucking it's swear to so God, funny. he made a paper mache bird, <laughs> or Samson did. I don't know who made it, <laughs> or Rusty, or Rusty from the VHS tape <laughs> makes a paper mache bird that he then is like launch the bird across the like giant conference room. It's like a Broadway production, but the bird catches on fire. <laughs> it's such a fucking shit there, show. Listen, there were a lot I of scenes, a lot in this movie that were so random, and I would laugh they out just loud. Kept playing. They just kept going it was, it's a listen it's it's there's parts of the movie i was like this is too long but, didn't that but i feel, laughed so hard didn't it feel that? a little like this was like a clip scene from almost famous where yes. it was like oh we couldn't fit it in that movie so i'll just yeah we'll <laughs> just cut copy paste it into this one well, the sprinklers go off everyone oh like loses their mind in claire is, and claire is the <laughs> flight attendant <laughs> helping people which that is so, so funny penny lane oh, kate hudson coded oh, no. of like yeah. here's your emergency Here exit we are this she's way. Guiding people to be safe. Um, Mm. 
And after all this chaos, everyone's just like laughing at the absurdity of just death and this whatever 30, 40 year feud between these two families. And you think the movie's done. You're like, we did it. (laughs) Bridget thought the movie was done. We fucking (laughs) ended. And somehow, nope. Fucking is now he's in an urn, okay? He's in an urn. He could just fly home holding it. He could. With his mom and sister. But instead. He made a promise to Claire. He made a promise to a woman he met three days ago. He he did. (laughs) That he had sex with. And she was like, you have to go on a road trip. And just so you know, I did coke all night. (laughs) And I made the most fucking epic scrapbook she it's like a I, it's like a file folder would, she she goes this is a map and he was like excuse I, me and I, would, I was like what that looks like a library i would pay thousands of dollars for that ex- adventure i mean that's the longest blog post you've ever seen it was on listicle or something it was like sharpie marker like cd <laughs> labeling she had like selfies of her like she with like Polaroids random eyeballs of her. and i was like uh ma'am i will what do you mean? never be as cool as claire doing that but Very also immersive extremely stalkery <laughs> I was like, you why did is Orla- say that? You were like, is Claire a stalker? Well, and I was like, oh, and I was like, it's Orla- not helping. Orlando Bloom is like getting like way too much love. Like, what is he giving Claire? Yeah, you know, well, not much except Stockholm syndrome. Maybe I, I don't know. So then we see him, which we didn't understand this either. Go to all these places. Okay, cool, Claire. But then he just throws his dad's ashes in these places that his dad <laughs> has no fucking connection to. <laughs> and if I'm looking down on my son, I'd be like, I don't like, want to end no. up. In the biggest chili no. pot diner in fucking Louisville. Don't sprinkle me in Memphis. Yeah, no. why am I on a bridge somewhere in Arizona? <laughs> what the fuck did I just like? That's my kneecap. You know? I don't know, was that Claire's idea though, or you think that was his idea? <laughs> I have no idea. Whose idea was the sprinkling? But the Susan Sarandon did not know about that. But I, I, I think it. the whole point was like, she's like, you just need to be alone and cry, and then like finally he, he cries. Does. Well, the only thing I thought of that I it doesn't explain the sprinkling, by the way, but the whole him going with the urn instead of having the urn go home with Susan Sarandon and Judy Greer was he was supposed to take the road trip with his dad to Kentucky but he never did okay. because he was working for eight years so she was oh. like this is your road trip with your dad oh that's actually sweet but I but I missed spr- that part but the sprinkling does you know you don't oh abandon God. parts of your father well, on a road trip as we well you know. as we know our father oh when our grandpa died oh. and he would put little pieces he did him. sprinkle him in Atlantic City Valley's casino. <laughs> And then he scooted away. And I was like, what the F is happening? And you know, it just got vacuumed up. And, and then mom <laughs> sprinkled part of grandpa in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Oh my God. During a marathon. And I said, we're going to get arrested. They, they're going to think this is explosive devices. Please stop it. Jesus. And that probably ended up on someone's shoe. I don't know. <laughs> you know? Not good. Running around Brooklyn. <laughs> Jesus um, Christ. But basically, when you're thinking to yourself, wait a second, this is a rom-com in 2005. He can't just drive home. We got a love interest. We got to close this motherfucking Mm. plot. And somehow, (laughs) Katie... We end up at the wor- the second largest farmer's, farmer's market, market in America. And Claire is there in a sea of people waiting for him. Well, she turns the road trip into a scavenger hunt. Yeah, to find her. She's like, go to the postcard of this dog in the second slot right. and look at my note. And then it's like, go find your stupid shoe. And then look in the shoe. And I was like, what? Who, what store vendor? Where are the store vendors? Just allowing this woman to fucking put the, her shit well, and then she, in these products? And what do you mean? I will say this. Listen, I get it's like, okay, you worked at this company and for eight years you worked on this thing, whatever, and it was a disaster. She says to him, you know what? Go read the article and you have five minutes to, yes. I was like, um, that's a quick she, amount of time. He might need a little longer. A little. Um, to, might uh, need some therapy. Might need a lot of well, therapy. Mm. Um, um, Only five you know. minutes, though, Bridge. But he doesn't even buy the She magazine. was like, five minutes. I'm at the second largest world's farmer's market. And you got to go. Okay. <laughs> Wearing her tomato hat. Oh, my God. It's not a tomato hat, but it reminded me of one. Yeah. And then they see each other. And it's like, ah. And then they run. And they make out. Which was just kind of boring. Oh. I liked it. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> here's, the, here's the problem. I think I was very much influenced by the ambiance, which was just random music that I was oh like, my I God, want this on my Spotify Well, playlist. the road trip had the best. Yes. I, I actually am going to bust out that music. I think I am. You know what? Stop this recording. Go no, listen to that don't. music. Oh, Click sorry. subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> then you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god what did no, we miss what did music. we miss did we miss anything big and important i don't know we don't know what job he has we don't know where he's living he's a we shoe don't designer. know if he's gonna still try to die oh yeah yeah we don't know well no we think that now that Claire's well, there the ending which i didn't fucking write the quote down but i did like the ending quote where it was he kind of does this mini monologue of like you know the british air force something something says like i don't know something equivalent to like go big go home and then he's like and a leaf can bust through concrete and then salmon you know almost die trying to get upstream and yeah it's for sex but it's also for life and i was like oh he's not gonna die because now he's like i gotta live for life even though life can be hard yeah i was like oh i like that ending okay i love that yeah the whole claire subplot i was like i mean she's cool i do appreciate life i totally date her but like let's also like make this your thing yeah heal yourself i think she should have a scrapbooking business oh my god i would pay thousands for that like a blog or something the millennials right now if you put that road trip and it was like oh yeah two grand they're doing it yeah you get the spotify mix you get the map oh quest. that would be cool you get you get all the different that places to like cool. say hi to you when you show up oh my god i love that we should do that <gasps> trademark trademark, trademark. <laughs> <laughs> no it's a lot of work um, okay but I, I can't watch the movie three nights in a row <laughs> it's, it's, it's too much. literally though our fucking mother at dinner we're like we're like mom we gotta go podcast and she's she like what, what movie, movie? <laughs> that don't oh know she God. sings our intro she does. she's a queen she is a queen but boy that queen's got adhd she's not she, paying attention. She pay attention she yeah. does not pay attention oh, well what do you think bridge would you watch or don't watch i would definitely watch it but it is long it's, it's long. it goes a lot longer than you think it's gonna it's yes. longer than you realize i would have cut out samson i'm sorry <laughs> I would have snipped Samson. I know Rusty's a good time, but I would have snipped it all. Oh, my God. I think it would have saved us 10 minutes. It would have saved us a lot of time. Uh, that um, was weird. And, uh, but definitely, if you haven't seen it, watched it. Yeah. Kirsten Dunst rocks. Orlando Bloom's great. The rest of the cast, like, delivers. It's mm-hmm. it's a good time. It's a good time. Now, I would watch as well. Now, wait a second. Oh. Uh-huh. What is our next movie? Ooh, it's my pick. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Bum, bum, bum. Two choices. Ooh. Okay. Um, one choice would keep us in the 2000s, and I think, like, early 2000s. Okay, okay, okay. And the genres, I guess, maybe, like, adventure, fantasy, maybe more adventure. And then the other choice is 90s, and it's kind of, it's not full horror, but it's, like, teen kind of horror, maybe. But like, like, like will it. I be scared? You've seen it. Oh, <gasps> mm. still recording. All right, what's up? Oh. S- special guest, our mother. Wow. Maureen. Or, or cut that out. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I'm here and I'm I don't get it, so I'm going to bed. Wow. <laughs> Great. I hope you're not keeping all the neighbors up or Whatever. people walking by. Nobody's here. A random guest walking by and being in the show? You know, we tried to... Uh, I mean, nobody's um, walked on this side of the street. Yeah, no, they nobody stayed on has. the other side. We'll see you all in the morning. All right, love okay, you. Good night. Good night. So back to our serious okay, podcast anyway, mom. <laughs> we're not on a so one. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. Um, <laughs> you've seen the ni- you've okay, definitely I, seen the 90s. Let's do one. the horror one. <gasps> Okay. 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 You know a girl, aka me, loves a theme, oh. and this is, I would say, summer theme. <laughs> it's a little summer theme. Is this? I know what you did last night. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Okay. Okay. I can't wait to watch this back. Have you seen? You've seen this? I've seen it. It's like the like knockoff scream. Yeah. But different. I don't think it's actually scary. But, it's um, not that scary. But it's slasher. It's teen slasher, nineteen ninety seven. It. it is rated at R, which is actually Ooh. interesting. Oh my god, only five point eight out of ten. Woof. I mean Um It was made fun of a lot of scary movies. Oh, it sure was. Uh this is described as four young friends bound by a tragic accident are reunited when they find themselves being stalked by a hook wielding mean 
maniac in their small seaside town. I gotta say, of all the slasher movies, this one's a little confusing. Uh, There's a lot of plot points. I don't remember anything. Like, if you really want to know who the killer is, you gotta, like, take some notes. Well, we got Freddie Prince Jr., we got Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, and we have, um... Sarah Michelle Gellar. Ryan Felipe as well. Do we have Jennifer Love Hewitt? Yes. She's the main girl. Sarah Michelle Gellar and Hesh. It's a small role in this, (laughs) which is so weird. And then Freddie Prince Jr. Wow, um, wow, wow. As well, who was Ray. Oh, and Veronica Vaughn. Dad Veronica Vaughn. Oh my god. And the guy from Big so Band hot. Theory. So hot to want to touch the hiney. Well, well, well. There's a lot of random people in this. But yes, this is uh written by Kevin Williamson, which any teen he wrote Scream, he wrote Do 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 <gasps> Dawson's Creek. Oh god, Kevin. He was writing for the teens, so this was another one. I'm here for it. And uh let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fucking go. Well, I love it. Well, Bridge. Yes, Kate. Just wanna say uh uh-huh. if you were, you know, a little emo and i mean you're already married so i can't give you like a romantic subplot oh but i could persuade you know your husband to become a flight attendant <laughs> to pretend he doesn't know you to i'd love that you know like take over your life maybe stalk you <laughs> create a scrapbook send you on a you know wow. scavenger hunt and a road trip wow. and then you meet at a farmer's market and i would just be in the background like <laughs> <laughs> like the puppet master. Success. Yes. Wow, like, yeah, I want that for you because wow. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. And you know, for me, yeah. When I find the actual Rusty, oh um, God, not him. And he needs <laughs> someone to help him edit um, and reproduce his new no. movies. I'm gonna have you meet Rusty. <laughs> And help him figure out how not to immerse himself into movie plots he doesn't need to be into. So, so how did you this get? Is, this is for you. Kate. Where did you come from? Where'd you go? <laughs> Where'd you Where'd come, come from? from? Rusty, Rusty I Joe. Joe. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. And listeners, if you also um, want Rusty's video, it might be haunted. I don't know. It's weird, but it worked. So you decide for yourself. And if you think that road trips are Fun. They're fun. If you have good music. Yeah. And I don't know about scattering dead people's ashes, but you decide for yourself if it makes sense. You do you. I don't know. And if you think this movie maybe could have been a little shorter. Yeah. It's good. It's great. But, like, we could have saved some time. Mm-hmm. And that's why I think your drinking game, you know. You're probably drunk by now. Yeah. Like, you, if you're drinking, it's, like, fine. You don't notice. But if you're not, I don't know. If you think all that, you should write a save review. Oh. We whoop. love reviews we love written reviews you can review us on apple podcasts along with some other podcasting apps and we also have a website sisterswhosina.com on our website you can request a movie so there is a form you can fill out your request goes on a list and we look at the list every now and then and we will do it eventually (laughs) and bridge what else can they do on our website you can give us money money means hey Hey. We like you. Woo. Good job. Here's a couple bucks for coffee. Yeah. Okay. We Here's like that. thousands of dollars to invest in making Claire's road trip a franchise. Oh boy, that would be a moneymaker, I'm telling you. Also, there's merchandise. Woo! You can wear the looks from the shows. Oh, It'll be bomb diggity. Yes. Maybe we'll make a um we'll create the roadmap <gasps> and we'll sell it on our <gasps> merch page wow i don't know probably not but maybe <laughs> who knows <laughs> we'll see <laughs> yeah so check all that out listeners and we hope to hear from you all right well we'll see y'all next week probably not from a lawn but who knows um Listen. we'll see you next week for i know what you did last summer Listen there, Kate. i'm hard to forget and easy to remember uh, opposite um i'm, uh, I'm uh, easy to remember but no i'm easy Wait, um, wait. Which one is it? Oh, I thought I... Oh, oh, what the F? I'm clicking things. I thought I wrote it down. Um, hard to forget. Easy to remember, but hard to forget. <laughs> Those are the same things. <laughs> Shoot. I don't know, guys. Look it up. Look it's it up. We cute. love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Love you. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to Sisters Who Seen It. You can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts check out our website at sisterswhoseenit.com where you can email us, request movies to be reviewed, and keep up to date with all things sisters. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.